I'm playing against two coaches. The third one is sitting over there. <laughs> Line Empire, referee. You're feeling the world is against you right now. Yeah, a bit. Oh, come on. We're with him, aren't we? Yeah. Will you come back next year? I hope so. Uh, I enjoy it. So hopefully uh, they still want me. We always want you. You've been a great sport. Thank you very much. Thanks. So how did that compare to beating Nadal? Uh, I think this is more important, you know? <laughs> now... <laughs> I can see you took it just as seriously. Yes, of course. Every point. Every, every I really wanted to win this match. He beat me last year. So this is revenge. Ah, okay. So one, one to one. No, now two, two to one. Two to one. I mean, we had a bit of fun there, obviously. We all enjoyed it very much. But there's a serious element to this as well because it is important to get your eye in and the movement in ahead of Wimbledon, isn't it? Yes, of course. It's like uh, a really good preparation. Um, uh, we, we play, this is like a match. We play with referees, with ball boys, and it's very important for us. And importantly, you play in, well, let's say, maybe below average weather as well. That gets you in the mood for Wimbledon, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, but we play, it was perfect. Uh, al almost the weather was perfect. So. Wow, an Argentinian saying the weather's perfect in England. Yes! You've been a great sport. Thank you very much for joining us. Going to come back next year? Yes, of course. Claro que sí. Muy bien. Thank you very much. Well done, chaps. You're going to have to keep the applause going. They've got a long walk off. Are you all warm enough? Yes? You made a tough star. A couple of towels wrapped around me over there. I was a bit chilly. It's all good. The tennis keeps you warm. And actually, the next match we've got going on is going to be fast and furious, and that's definitely going to warm the cockles of your heart because it's a one-pro set, and that basically means it's the first to ten in the next set. And, of course, um, you do have to be too clear um, if it goes to a tie break, it's a seven point tie break. So expect a fast and ferocious match. Cliff is indicating the single finger, which means they are just one minute away. Fran, do you concur? One minute away? Yes? Okay. Ooh, big gust to win there. Ooh. Let's invite uh, at least two of the players on court because this is a doubles match, as you well know. And these guys are well known to us here at Boodles and I'm sure to you too. It's Jamie Delgado from Great Britain. Come on, girls, you this year. And the team of today is James Serratani from the USA. Both lovely chaps, both of them played here earlier in the week and been highly entertaining, so expect more of the same. Let's see if their opponents are ready. Are they clear? Cliff is beckoning them. Not yet. How are you boys feeling? Good? Why are you pointing at me? I'm not there. No way, James. No way. Have you seen the legends? Oh, God, no. No one's said anything about this in the contract.
Now this is going to be a very special match. Expect fast, furious moves because Adil is 31. He's from Toronto, Ontario in Canada. He turned pro in 2001. And his pal today is from Australia. Ramiz is 32. Of uh, living in Australia? You from Aus uh, in Melbourne, sorry? Lovely. Melbourne's a great place. Um, he usually plays with Philip Marks, the German player. He's right-handed. He plays college tennis in the USA and a full-time doubles player now. Coach is Rainer Bopp. What a great name that is. Cool. Where is he from? Where do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you like how I just shifted that onto you? Bopp. Germany. There we go. Learn something new every day. Okay, so uh, Jamie and James, as you well know, uh, Jamie is from Great Britain, born in Birmingham, spent much of his childhood in Tenerife. That's where he got that gorgeous tan. <laughs> Before returning to England, he's great pals with both Murray and Henman, so any little inside secrets and stories, he's your man. This is going to be his 21st Wimbledon in a row. That is cool, isn't it? That's some going. I mean, he is 54, but... And his partner today is six foot one, left-hander from Massachusetts, turned pro in 2005. Three ATP World Tour titles to his name. Career high doubles ranking of 45, that was in 2008. He's a clever little chap. He's got an international relations and business economics degree. Ooh. Ivy League Rookie of the Year, no less, and a favourite with the ladies. <laughs> or so he tells us. <laughs> Enjoy the match. In two minutes.
one minute. Oh, welcome along to the final match of Boodles for the year. It's a doubles encounter. Adil Shamastin of Canada playing alongside Ramesh Janaid of Australia. And they're taking on Jamie Delgado, who should be well known to British fans. And James Seratani of the United States. And it should be a fast and furious encounter. We are playing a pro set, which is a first to ten games set. And it's just that one set, so should be a, a fun hour or so. Ladies and gentlemen, the team of Adil Shemazdin, Ramaz won the toss, and they elected to receive. Time. Well, it really is a lovely evening now here at Stoke Park. Jamie Delgado to serve first set. I'm ready to play. So we're getting straight into it. Jamie Delgado serving first. 36 years of age, Delgado. 15 long. And at Wimbledon next week, he will be competing in his 21st Wimbledon in a row. Jamie Delgado, which is some going. Born in Birmingham, now lives in London. 15 all. And I'm sure he will be in the crowd when Andy Murray is playing. Big mates. Thirty fifty. Oh. Thirty all. Oh, nice shot by Seratani. 40, 30. Receiver's choice. One or two umbrellas starting to pop up, which is slightly worrying. But once we get to juice, it's a deciding point. Sudden death juices in these doubles matches. Game, Delgado. And Delgado and Sedatani do take it. First game. Well, it's Rami's Janaid serving now. Yeah. 
Lives in Melbourne, Australia. Lovely part of the world. But look at here in Buckinghamshire. Sun really is coming out. Who needs Melbourne, eh? Fifteen set. Net. The serve. Fifteen forty. Well, double fault. And it's two great points here for Delgado and Seratani. Well, in fact, three if you count the sudden death juice as well. So, a big chance for a breaker serve here. Thirty forty. Game. Well, a couple of double faults there for Janae just to finish that. Too disappointing. And it's two love to the British and American pair. Saratani, born in Massachusetts, in a part of Massachusetts called Reading, which isn't the Reading that's not too far away from here. Currently 80th in the world in the doubles rankings. Delgado 77th. And, 15 love. and all four of these players are certainly double specialists. Don't really compete in the singles game. Thirty fifteen. Oh, it's just landed in. Nice touch there by Delgado. Forty fifty. I think that's a few champagne glasses just taking a tumble there. Body <laughs> steady. Saratani Delgado. Oh, they've opened up the early three, three game left. cushion here. Very nice start for Delgado and Saratani. 
Well, it's been a really entertaining day. Two excellent singles matches so far today. Robin Hasser up against Viktor Troitsky up first. And it was Viktor Troitsky who won what was the championship game, really. He got the, the cup. And then we just saw Timo de Baca take on Horacio Zabayos in a very entertaining matchup, which the Argentine did win in straight sets. Well, there's no slowing them down. Champagne keeps on flowing for the spectators here. And why not? It is a Saturday after all. Adil Shemazdin from Canada serving now. Born in Toronto. Wow. Practicing for Wimbledon. Fifteen thirty. <laughs> Saratani getting a high five from someone in the crowd. Oh, lovely shot there by Delgado. 30, 40. Just steering that one down the line. Starting point. point. Receiver's choice. Yeah. Well, it's out. They lead four games to love. Four love now, Delgado and Saratani. Remember, it's just the one set. It's a pro set. We're playing first to ten games. Have to win by two clear games, though. Fifteen all. 
1530. Oh, big events finishing today. Eastbourne on the ATP Tour. Feliciano Lopez winning the title against Gilles Simon. And over in the Netherlands, Sir Togenbosch. That was won by Nicolas Mahou, the Frenchman, winning his first ATP Tour title at the age of 31, beating Stanislas Vavrinka in the final. 40 30. Receiver's choice. Oh, looking for their first game. Shamaz Din and Janaid. Oh, nicely put away by Delgado. Five love. How's this for a start? In five games to love, first set. Some people just making their way from the marquee, the hospitality there. Very dapper. Time. Not sure what that was. Just taking the players by surprise. What? It is Ramiz Janaid serving once more. Oh. Low 50. Well, here's that contraption again. It was here earlier. I'm not sure what it is still. Oh, good reactions there by Shamastin. Yeah, and they get their first game and <laughs> celebrate as if they've won Wimbledon. But <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Delgado saying. I'm the English one. I should get the support. Mm. 
Oh. Well, a wonderful exchange of quick volleying there. Oh, not quite. They went for the sneaky serve there. They need six games to fall. Uh, it is 6 1, and of course, we are playing first to 10, so set isn't done yet. Oh, a souvenir. Should try and get the players to sign that, shouldn't it? Yeah, just over the top. Games to two. Well, all smiles as they get their second game there, Shamazdin and Junaid. That's a super serve by Delgado. 
played plenty of Davis Cup tennis for Great Britain. And perhaps he's most notably remembered with British fans when he played at Wimbledon in 2001, where he came up against Andre Agassi on centre court. He has made it to the third round twice. Jamie Delgado, 2006 and 2009. That was in the doubles, of course. In the singles, he's made it to the second round on three different occasions. So, 7-2. It's the Australian Janaid once more. Currently just outside the top 100 in the doubles world rankings, the 107th he is. Love 50. Well, hopefully they were putting that umbrella down. Off go some of the school kids. Oh, this is very impressive. And this Stoke Park crowd getting behind the British player. Oh, nice touch by Janet. Well, 8-2. Eight eight Positively flying through this. Natalie Pinkham, who's been the MC of the events throughout this week, done a very good job as well. Interviewing the players after every match. Well, they're 8 2 down. They're trying some flashy moves now. <laughs> 15 all.
15.30. Well, it's showboaty now, isn't it? Oh, break points here. Oh, just out. 30, 40. James, Jones in Genevieve. Oh, they get another one. 8 3 now. Johnny Delgado lead eight games to three. Perhaps this can be a bit of a comeback here for Shamazdin and Janet. And you don't see that often, do you? You see. Doubles partners, doubles opponents, high-fiving each other as they pass by the net. Well, let's see this drive. Oh, don't get to see it. <laughs> A lovely evening for some golf. Of course, the summer days, it stays light until 8, 9 o'clock. Still get... Nine holes in now. Fifteen loves. Forty love. Game shows in Junaid. Tony Delgado lead eight games to four. Oh, there goes another champagne cork. I'd love to know how many bottles of champagne have been consumed here this week. I think the number will be very impressive. I think they're the offending party. 15 love. Thirty love. Forty love. What a volley that is! Saratani with the shot of the match. <laughs> and this one's a bit of champagne.
Well, there was nothing in that glass. <laughs> oh, nine games to four. Just one game away from taking this match. Delgado and Saratani. whole week has been a, an excellent week. They've had good weather here for most of the week as well, which is just always such a huge plus for an event like this where it relies on the spectators enjoying themselves. And the sun plays a huge part in that, doesn't it? Long summer days. It's to the 12th year that this tournament's been going and players keep on coming back they absolutely love it and the ball girls have done a good job here this week from a local school in Wickham oh. well a couple of players tripping over that Oh, just long from Delgado. 40, oh, what a good serve, and it's big ace down the tee from Janet. And it's 9 5. The Tony Delgado lead, nine games to five. Oh, lovely shot. Shemazdin just faking to go down the line. Very nice from Delgado. 15 to 7. Ground staff ready and waiting to spring into action. Cover the court back up. Oh, 
<laughs> well, that wouldn't have been allowed, would it? And we have match point now. Well, Saratani slipping Gives at one point. point a receiver's choice. Well, still match point, of course, because it is deciding point. And it's yeah, taken. Yeah, Big yeah, serve yeah. from Seratani. Janaid can't Seratani return it. And Seratani and Delgado yeah, win. And a good way to round off the day. And I'll hand you over to Natalie Pinkham now. Jamie Delgado and James Seratani. And before you head home, we'll just grab a quick word with the players. They seemed to enjoy that, didn't they? Did you all enjoy it? You enjoyed your day? It's been a great day, hasn't it? Hey, you guys really fought back there towards the end. We were, we were quite impressed. We definitely tried to do our best, but they served really well. And I think James needs to start playing right-handed all the time for us to have a chance. But uh, no, it was fine. It was great to be here. And uh, thanks for having us out here. Thank you for coming. Did you enjoy your Boodles experience? Yeah, I think uh, I would like to come back next year just with a different partner. <laughs> charming. That is just charming, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's a nice club and people are nice, you know, just better partner, better experience, you know? <laughs> the people are very nice. You've all been amazing. And you two have been pretty good too. Um, I particularly like the whole sort of frog sort of squatting thing. What's the, what's the thinking behind that? The frog squatting. I haven't gotten that yet, but um, yeah. No. I like to stay low, uh, especially on the grass courts, and uh, yeah, it's where I thrive. So, um, you know, J J Jamie, <laughs> J Jamie made my life very easy by uh, bombing serves, so I, I didn't have to do too much work up there. So I was more of an entertainer. So yeah. Oh, he did entertain, didn't he? Yes. And um, just tell us the trick. Uh, I mean, obviously, you guys have got a great friendship, you've got a great partnership, but what is the key to playing good doubles? Because uh, I'm sure there's some good doubles players here, are there? Yeah. yeah? So perhaps you can give them a few tips. Um, I, I think working as a team, obviously, they can be good players individually that don't match up together. But you know, if you work together, practice together, get on and talk about tactics and positioning, you can play good doubles. Everyone here can play good doubles. You can all play good doubles. But is it also important to sort of have different strengths so that you complement each other well? Yeah, ideally, my partners are good at everything. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, yeah, Dif different strengths can match up with different players and, and that's part of the thing, to, to find who, you know, fits as well with you. You're a bit cold. Actually, you're quite warm. I'm, I'm getting good body heat here. I'm freezing. You lot have been amazing, amazing support today and all week. Have you enjoyed the Boodles experience? Yes. Big thank you to Boodles, big thank you to Stoke Park, the King family, and to Patricio. It's been such a great week. A huge round of applause for the ball girls from Wickham High School for Girls. They've been awesome. And Ted and Jamie, our umpires, they've been fantastic. And Abto as well. A huge thanks also to Big Cliff. Cliff, give them a wave. You've been amazing. Thank you so much. Safe home. And uh, do tweet all your pictures from today because you could win tickets for next year. But in the meantime, it's all left for me to say is stay home. Good to see you. Thank you very much.
deep in the English countryside. Not the sort of place you'd expect to find the ATP world number one in summertime. But Novak Djokovic is in serious demand these days. It is part of the job that I enjoy because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a different from uh, a regular day uh, on the tennis court and uh, I'm glad that I'm, I, I'm doing this for the first time with my girlfriend, which, which, which makes it more fun. The glamorous photo duty comes with the territory when you're on top of the world. I'm loving it. It's really, I think, the dream of every girl to be so pampered by so many people. It's really wonderful. Obviously, this is a place uh, uh, which is really ideal for, for these photo shoots. It's, it's beautiful. It's, uh, uh, it has a history, tradition. Absolutely marvelous. I actually love the outfit, the jewelry, uh, makeup, hair, everything. Uh, this is where a man feels comfortable.